Ladies and gentlemen, the officials assigned for the next bout of the evening by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The judges will be Chuck Ciampa, Art Lurie, and Dolby Shirley. Your referee is Richard Steele. The next bout of the evening, a co-main event of the night, featuring 10 rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, with a professional record of 20 wins, four defeats with 14 KOs, he was a gold medalist in the 23rd Olympiad in Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Henry Tillman. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 217 pounds. His professional record consists of 37 wins, one defeat with 33 KOs. He is a former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is a one to two favorite to knock out his opponent in the first round. That means if you wanted to make two dollars, you'd have to bet four dollars. The over-under is two and a half rounds, the lowest I've ever heard of. That means you can bet on whether the fight goes past two and a half rounds or less than two and a half rounds here in Las Vegas. And given the choice of opponents, you have to believe that what the Tyson camp dearly wants for their fighter is one of those 90-second knockouts on which his destroyer reputation was built. You see what's happening here with Henry Tillman using the ring, using movement. Mike Tyson, I knew he would charge right at Henry Tillman because he doesn't respect Henry Tillman. But in doing so, he may leave himself open because he's trying so hard to impress. You see the right hand by Henry Tillman. Mike Tyson must be aggressive, but he must be careful, not a rush in there. Now, question, how much does that remind Tyson of the overhead right that Buster Douglas kept stuffing into his mouth in Tokyo. Every time that Tillman lands a punch, it reminds him, it brings back that memory. Mike Tyson is a man with conviction. He wants to be impressive. He wants to impress not only himself, but to the critics and say, Mike Tyson is beaten soundly by Buster Douglas. Tillman's idea, move, box, jab, fast combinations, give Tyson angles. All very well and good. What happens when he gets hit? That right hand of Tillman needs to be close to that chin. You notice when he drops it, periodically he drops it. Now, Jim, he's doing the right thing, Tillman is. When Tyson comes inside, if he's not gonna punch, tie him up, break his rhythm. Solid right hand by Tyson to the body. Tillman staggers backward. Mike goes at him and Tillman grabs and holds on. I believe Tillman's going to stand there and try to drop his right hand because he's trying to time Mike Tyson's onslaught. Not that much movement from Tillman now. Tillman missed with an overhand right. Trying exactly as you said he would to drop it in. Right to the face of Tillman. He grabs and holds on. That one was a bit of a glancing blow. Tillman now is trying to fight Mike Tyson. He should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. to Tillman to help him up, which may not at the moment be the very best idea. There's a huge crowd around the fallen fighter who probably needs a little air. It was a right hand in close quarters to the forehead, and it was quite enough. 
The snake always devours the frog. My over-under was 90 seconds. I think it went over. <laughs> There are a lot of people who are probably surprised by how far it went. Henry Tillman is not known to take a punch very well. He took one really solid blow earlier in the round, and a vicious shot to the body, and finally it was that right to the forehead that was enough. The question to knock I have, the question I have as we watch, as we watch this again, and there is the punch, a high punch on the forehead, the same the sort of a punch that knocked out Trevor Burbick when Mike Tyson won the heavyweight championship. The question I have is whether you can sell another doubleheader like this with a combined six or seven minutes of fighting. Well, if it's Francesco Damiani mm -hmm. and Alex Stewart, as appears to be the case in September, those are fighters with better credentials than those of Adelson Rodriguez and Henry Tillman. This is true, but I I'm just curious. I don't know whether you can. I'm not saying you can't sell it. I'm just asking whether you can we came here for a two ring circus and we got it <laughs> one more look at the hail mary right hand i know i'm going to land it somewhere here and tillman never responded at all to richard Steele's count and now let's go up to chuck hall for the official announcement Ladies and gentlemen, the time, two minutes, 47 seconds of the first round. The winner by a knockout, Iron Mike Tyson. So referee Richard Steele raises the hand of Mike Tyson. There's Rich Giacchetti. A very successful debut for Rich Giacchetti. And here you see the total punches in the round. Tillman landed four, Tyson 14, according to our statisticians. Not, not that it makes any difference. If there was any doubt going into this fight, and there wasn't, Tillman landed a hard, clean right, right on the button of Tyson. Early in the round, Tyson barely blinked. There's a big crowd standing around. It's been a curious crowd. I think the crowd knew what it was coming for, which was a show, a circus, as we've been calling it. There wasn't a lot of high excitement about it, just a lot of high curiosity uh, to see two former champions performing. Go through it one more time. Left jab, bang, right over the right jab. Perfect shot by Mike Tyson. Once again, Henry Tillman, too brave for his chin. Now to you, Jim. All right, Mike Tyson has joined us now at ringside. Mike, a lot of people thought that maybe you had some questions to answer for yourself tonight. Were there questions in your mind, and if so, did you answer them? No, I didn't, I didn't have much doubt on the outcome of the fight. It's just that um, I was skeptical because I didn't get my best performance. You know what I mean? I had no idea that. I, I knew I was always the same person still. It's just that I was reluctant in the situation, and I wasn't professional. And that's not um, characteristic of me. To be How good did this performance feel for you? Well, it helps, you know, you come back, you got your win. It helps the confidence. But I, I want to fight as often as I possibly can. How much can you learn from two minutes and 47 seconds? There are some who would contend that maybe you should have taken a tougher opponent and stayed in the ring longer. Well, as you know, like as Ray know, um, I'm already an experienced fighter. If I would have went 10 rounds, I was in good shape to go 10 or 15 rounds. I'm already an experienced fighter. It's just that I prefer to be more um, often active than I have been. Question, Ray? Well, I said earlier that, Mike, that you wanted to get this fight over with as soon as possible. Also, you know, there are people that say, well, it's not as formidable and this shouldn't be a problem. I thought it was an achievement because the fact of the matter is, because he was not considered a formidable opponent, that meant your mind had to be right. Absolutely. And the most... Um, as when people tell me that this guy's going to be a pushover, that's when I worry. That's when I worry. Like, Buster Douglas wasn't supposed to be a pushover. Not making a big issue of it. By no doubt, I'm the best fighter in the universe, and I'm coming back to regain the title. 
Will it satisfy you to come back in three months against the likes of an Alex Stewart, as appears to be the plan? Perhaps two months. Um, I'm in great shape. I can fight anyone in Do you the world. think that you made a mistake in the past by not fighting as frequently as you had in the period leading up to when you won the title? Absolutely. People, you know, you, you're put through a claim that all my personal problem. They say, well, he overcame the personal problem. He's still fighting. He's going through the war. But it's not the personal problem. It's the aftermath of the personal problem that really um, catches up because of the, the activity part. You know, you have to, in our business, Ray knows, you have to stay active. You know what I mean? The situation where he was in, he was dropping. You know what I mean? Active. If he was active, that would never happen. Because, as you know, Ray Lay is the best fighter of his generation. Did you see Foreman against Adelson Rodriguez? I didn't watch anything. My main concern was the comment finish off Henry Tillman. All right, Evander Holyfield is going to get the first shot against Buster Douglas. How much is it going to bother you if you had to wait several more months, perhaps even a I'm, year or I'm more? I'm going to stay active, but regardless of the issue, it's going to be a tough fight. And after the tough fight, the winner got me.